Hey guys, welcome back to Minecraft Hardcore Survival, where somehow we are dead yet. I know, it's crazy. We're on like, we're almost on episode 20, and that's hours and hours and hours of Minecraft content, and somehow we haven't died. I think that in itself is quite the achievement. Anyway, today we need to sort out this guy. He's not looking too comfortable in his, uh, in his minecart. <laughs> his body fills the entire thing. This wasn't thought through very well. Now, my plan for him is to put him underneath the castle right here. But the problem is, there's still all this nonsense here. I still need to flatten this out, but it's going to take so much durability of pickaxes. It's crazy. Just all of this, because most of it is, uh, because most of it is stone, just takes so long. The only solution I can think of is getting more efficiency on my diamond pickaxe and start repairing it or blowing it up. And we do have some TNT. I've got about 11 TNTs, but I don't think TNT really works that well against smooth stone. So what I might have to do, just for a temporary solution, because we don't have another turtle anyway for it to start laying eggs, I might just build a bubble <laughs> around the turtle just for now. I also need to clear up all of this, which is going to take a while. But let's go and get some glass and let's build a bubble because... Turtles get attacked by pretty much everything. Like, pretty much everything, including cats, including strays, including zombies. Zombies actually purposefully seek them out and stomp on them, which is which is horrible, by the way. But I've got enough glass to cover him up just to protect him. And then we need to find a girlfriend. Oh, that only did one heart of damage. That's because I've got my feather falling slides on. Not bad. Hey, buddy. How's it going? Right, let's quickly build uh, something like this. You're going to have to move, guys. This is very important. Very, very important. <laughs> this is stupid. I'm also not going to be able to get any of this glass back unless I find something with silk touch in the meantime. But there you go. Smash. There is a protected and hopefully not suffocating turtle. For now, this is your home. This is a little preview of the giant snow globe we're eventually going to build. Right, today, I want to work on getting myself better armor. And I can't remember, what else was I going to do? I want to find that stronghold today. And I think that's going to be pretty much the summary of the day. And try and find a second turtle, but I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do that. Skinny, Junior the second. Is still admiring her throne, but not really doing much about it. At least she's doing her job. Right. I need to get rid of some of these. I need to repair my pickaxe. Uh, I've got enough diamonds to repair it, but it might be worth just making a new one. But let's see. I want to try and use my villagers today. There we go. All cleaned up. I want to use my villagers today to get myself some diamond armor. Because if I go to the armorer, where is the armorer? I think this is him. Yeah, there we go. So we need to make him go up to an expert. And I'm going to try that today. Let me go and grab all my emeralds because I do have a lot of them. And then we're going to have to buy all these... Oh, man. We're going to have to buy all these iron boots, which aren't going to be worth anything. But hopefully, that brings this level up pretty quickly. So I'm pretty rich. Just going to put it out there. I'm just going to grab my paper to trade in as well. I think I've got some... Yeah, I've got some of this to trade too. Let's grab this. How many emeralds do we have? Two and a bit stacks. I wonder if we'll be able to do it today. And then the goal is to be able to combine it with the armor that we already have to hopefully get some pretty awesome armor. So let's give that a go. Let's see how much experience each trade will get him. So, what? No escaping, please. I know you saw your opportunity, but it's not going to happen. So how many of these am I going to have to buy to make him go up? One, two, three. I'm going to have to buy it like almost 10 sets of boots. That's 40 emeralds. Ugh. Oh, actually, I'm just looking on the wiki for it. Coal has better experience. I'm going to go and get some coal. So I think I do actually have a lot of it now. And we also need to sleep because I want to keep this guy protected. You better be keeping an eye on him with both your different colored eyes. Coal. Yeah, I have quite a lot of coal. Let me take this. I've also got quite a lot of iron as well, which I think is one of his next trades. I'm pretty sure with the amount of emeralds we got, we should be able to level him up pretty, uh, pretty well. And I hope he gets the chest plate. I don't want anything else. No boots, no nothing. I just want the chest plate. Don't give me no other nonsense, please, buddy. Here we go. Does this... Oh, that's so much better. Give me that emerald. Look how much. That's like double. And I'm making emeralds from it instead. There we go. All right, I need one more. Boom. Okay, new trade. Show me the goods. It didn't cost me... Probably it cost me like a stack of uh, coal. 
Ooh, chain mail. How is this the only way you can get chain mail? I had no idea you could get chain mail in Minecraft. Uh, this is a good. Oh man. Oh man, it's gonna take so much. Why? One emerald for chainmail leggings. This is gonna. Is this gonna take a lot of emeralds? I'm just gonna have to do it. Oh man, I'm gonna have to do it. <laughs> How many chainmail leggings? And he's run out. Boots. There are only one emerald each. It didn't actually cost me that much, to be honest, did it? There we go. But now I've got loads of armor pieces that I really don't need. Look at all these. What? I don't really know what to do with them either. I need to make a chest, like, quickly. This is, <laughs> this is so bad. Just to level him up. I don't think that cost me that much because it was only one each. Because he gave me a little bit of a discount. Must have heard about the legend of when I protected the entire village. And I've still got two stacks of emeralds. So that ain't so bad. Let's put... That in there, that in there. If I put a chest in there, I can save it all. <laughs> There's so much. Chainmail is actually pretty cool. I wish I could give it to someone, but I don't think that it really works that way. So if I do this, oh, I got loads of uh, experience for that as well. Look at this. <laughs> That's like, how many? Nine, 18, 19 pieces of armor, 20 pieces of armor that cost me. That's crazy. Lava bucket for an emerald. Oh, he's already like almost halfway. I could buy shields off him. How much is a lava bucket? A lava bucket is 20, apparently. So I'm going to go and grab some of those. I just need to... I can just go to the nether, right? Hey, sir. I need to get one of those chicken things. I keep forgetting. And also, stay tuned because I've added a mod to this series. And I know this is supposed to be vanilla. But it's actually to do with armor stands. Because, you know what? Let's do this first and then I'll get to that. Oh, I have a lava bucket already. And then I've got loads of these. I need to go and trade my paper... Because I haven't been using this uh, this villager thing to the full extent that I could have. The AFK fish farm is not bad, but it does take a long time, even with the full lore and stuff, to be able to get enchanted books. So, you're the wrong person. Sorry. It is you that I need. I wish he would trade me his, uh, his monocle. That'd be so good. But for now, just take all of my paper, son. I'll get your monocle one day. Oh, man. He's run out already. Where's my farmer at? Hello, I have wheat for you. I would like some money, please. All right, let's make all of these into hay. Bop, bop. That's it. You're pretty expensive, sir. Okay, armor. I just want to see how much experience. Ooh, okay, that's a lot. I'm only going to need three, I think, for that. He does take the bucket, though, which is a little bit upsetting. Fine. Okay, I'll be back in a second. I'm going to risk my life to be able to get these for you. This is risky. So risky. I've got to go down to the depths and not fall in. Let's grab this, this, this. Uh, I'm going to grab four just in case. And I can sell them anyway. It's a pretty good way to make money. Apart from needing the buckets because he takes your buckets from you. But still, not too bad. Let's go back through and sell these things. How many? I've got a stack of emeralds. I should have... Am I back to like equal now? If so, that's pretty... Oh, I'm back to even more than equal. I had a stack plus seven. Now I'm even higher. <laughs> this is great. The only thing I'm losing really is resources, I guess. But that doesn't matter. Right. I risked my life for these. So you better take them off my hands. Okay, I only needed two. That's fine. I'm just going to sell them to him anyway. Because it's a lot of experience. What's your new trade? Ooh, I'm breaking one. Project oh, those are bad. Those are really bad. Projectile protection. I mean, I can do it. It's only 21 emeralds. I'm breaking one, though. Okay, that's not that's not horrible. But I'm breaking one can't be combined very well. That's the only problem. Right, take these off me. Ooh. Ooh. That's such a good trade. Just for quickness, though, I'm just going to grab all these. And then he should go up to a master trader. I'll just pop these in here. Just so I've got extra shields. And he's got... <laughs> Respiration one, protection two. Okay, that's better. But I don't know if that's actually going to help to get up to protection five. You give me respiration one. You absolute chump. I don't believe it. Oh, all those trades. I wonder if I, you know what? I might need to make another villager pit to breed these guys because I need some more. I need some more villagers. Because their trades just ain't working out. I might need to extend this, which is going to be a pain in my butt. I'm going to buy this anyway. 27 emeralds, like whatever. Fine. 
I can't believe you've done this. Let's see if we can combine it. If we can't, it doesn't matter. I have a backup chest plate. Oh, I thought that was going to go so much better than, than it did. <laughs> please let me combine it. Like, please. Dan TDM merch plus the diamond chest plate. It doesn't. I've wasted like 20 something arrows. Okay. Oof. Let's not talk about it. I've already got max protection <laughs> on my. <laughs> I've already got max protection on my chest plate. You know what? It's fine. It means that I paid a few emeralds to, to get a free repair. It means I don't have to waste any, any diamonds. <laughs> Slightly embarrassing, not gonna lie, but the, the leggings and stuff suck. The worst part is I know you guys were absolutely yelling at your screen the protection for was max. I learned something today, okay? Um, unbreaking one leggings, projectile protection, respiration ain't bad either. Do you reckon I can combine all of these? Unbreaking, not bad. Do I have any unbreaking books though? Oh, this is confusing. Give me a second and I'll work it out. I want to see what my best chance is of upgrading my armor at least a little bit. Actually, you know what? Let me go over this mod that I've added, actually, just because I think it's going to be good. I think I need a stone slab and some sticks to create an armor stand. So, the reason I've added it in this mod, let me see if I've actually made it properly. I have not. Great. Oh, I need a smooth stone slab. I need one, two, three of these. I didn't know you could smelt smooth stone twice. What kind of wizardry is this? So the next thing I want to do is max out and master our weaponsmith. Because he can do the same. He can give you enchanted diamond pickaxes, enchanted diamond swords, shovels, all that stuff. So we're going to max him out. And I'm pretty sure he takes coal as well. So let me grab all this. But I want to show you the armor stand real quick. So I need a smooth stone slab. And then can I make an armor stand? Yo, how do I make one? Ah, there we go. Armor stand. Perfect. So I want to use this. Where should I put it? I guess up here would be cool. Let's put one here. And now if I shift and right click with a stick, it adds the arms. Okay, this works. So this is all the mod does. There's, there's three things the mod does. First up, it allows you to add arms to your armor stand, which is great because the only way you can do that in vanilla is you have to put in a command. And I really don't want to do that because that could break a few things and I just don't want to lose the legitimacy of vanilla. So I use this mod just so I can do this. Yes, because <laughs> there's no way to display your items otherwise. No, 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 I didn't mean to do that. Stop. Oh, can you only do one at a time? Oh, that's another feature. So now I'm naked, kind of, you know what I mean. But if I shift and right click, it swaps it out, which is quite cool. So you can only use one. Good to know. I've got a shield that I can add. Can I add a shield to you? Yes, the shield goes on the other arm. This is cool. So Lucky Boy can just be grabbed now, I think. Yeah, there you go. Switched in. And then we can also put on the protection to chest plate that we just bought. So it adds the arms with a shift and a right click with a stick. It also, with a shift and a right click with your bare hand, just swaps out the armor you're wearing, which is quite cool. It's just a quick way to do it. And then you can also shift and right click with this. Oh my goodness. <laughs> With nothing on it, I think, to get rid of the stone slab as well. But I'm pretty sure I'm going to keep the stone slab just because I like it. So let's go and craft another one of these so I can put the silk touch pickaxe. But I'm going to have to make another room. I think that way, when I expand that way, I'm going to have to add myself an armor stand room. I think that'd be pretty cool. Well, let me craft one now. Stand. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. So that's the only mod that I've added. I, I obviously don't want to add any more mods because I don't want to turn this into a modded Let's Play. But I think something like this is fine. If you guys don't like it, then I'll take it out, I guess. But there's no other way to be able to store your weapons like this unless you use like a, an item frame, which is just boring. This is much cooler. I like it. Let's go and max out this toolsmith just to see if we can get even better sword. What do we got so far? Can we do sharpness five? Let me check before I embarrass myself. Yeah, you can do sharpness five. Fire aspect would be good as well. Looting is the highest it can be. I guess I want to combine the other stuff from the armor or two, but let's figure this out. I think most of the trades are the same, so it should be pretty easy. I got the goods for you, boy. That's right, I got the gravel, flint stuff that you need. Oh man, that's so much. So much experience. For two emeralds. 
<laughs> My word. Next! Come and show me something good. What you got? Is that a diamond for an emerald? I'm actually shocked. Ooh, efficiency two and silk touch. That's even better. I mean, it's diamond and it's, uh, it's one efficiency less, but it's got silk touch on it. Should I buy that? How much is that gonna... Okay, that's not too bad. What about the diamond, though? Diamond for emerald has me kind of confused. And also, I've just realized this guy doesn't do swords. That's what you need the weaponsmith for. Okay, so if we do this, buy this. Which, uh, it's only 20, and then this. He should turn into a master. Please roll me a good pickaxe. Please. My current diamond pickaxe has efficiency 3. What does yours have, huh? Efficiency 2, Unbreaking, and Fortune. That is actually good. So let's buy this as well. What do we get out of that? A diamond axe with efficiency 2 and silk touch. And a diamond pickaxe with efficiency 2, Unbreaking, and Fortune. Okay, that's not bad. So combining this is going to cost 14 levels. But we add Unbreaking and Fortune. I'm going to do it. I still have a better Fortune Iron pickaxe. Which I should use to mine my diamonds. But I've done it. I'm breaking two. Let's go. I need a name for this. Le... Le mine. Le pick. Le pick. I think le pick works the best. <laughs> now I'm down to six levels. Sad face. Right, now, final one we need to do is the weaponsmith to get our sword up. And then we'll go and find this stronghold, okay? Okay, one more of these. Gets rid of all my flint. And then... Oh... Just short with one diamond. I don't really want to give him anything else. How much to get to the next level, buddy? Come on. Ooh, unbreaking two might actually not be too bad. Yeah, I'm going to grab that because then I can combine these two. Sweet. Okay, the moment of truth. Is it going to be a good... Is it going to be a good one? There it is. I don't believe it. Bane of arthropods? That's what you're going to give me. Bane of arthropods. Do you know how many resources this costs me to get here, huh? You're lucky I don't just chop you. I want to choke slam you so bad. I'm, oh, I can't believe it. I actually can't believe it. I'm out. You know what? I'm so mad. I'm so mad that I could take on a stronghold right now. And I think that's what I'm going to do. Oh, I didn't even get good stuff from the armorer either. Was this just too risky? Is that what's going on here? He got projectile protection. That's not terrible, but I don't think you can combine it with protection, can you? I'm pretty sure you can't. Uh, I'm breaking one on the leggings. I mean, I could buy those, actually. That's not too bad. So I don't have that. So let's buy those. And then respiration one on the helmet. I already bought the chest plate, which was already protection, which is fine. Respiration on the helmet isn't too bad, but I think it's going to be better to just get the scoot from these guys when we're done. So let's go combine our enchantments, and then I'm going to find a stronghold because I am so mad. These villagers, I gave them a home. I gave them everything they could ever want. And they repay me by doing this. Protection three. That adds unbreaking. Okay, that works. Then I want to combine these two. That's going to cost four. So that goes from efficiency two, silk touch. So efficiency two, silk touch, and unbreaking two. Sweet. The name for this is let chop. But, and let's get prepared to go to the stronghold. We're going to need ender pearls right here. We're going to need the blaze powder. What don't I need? I don't need this. Where did I even get this from? No. I'm going to need a lot of torches. I'm going to take this. I'm going to take all my tools with me because, again, it doesn't really matter if I die. Let's make... How many of these should we make? Should we just go for the full nine? Yeah, let's just make nine. Let's do nine of these to start with, and then we'll see how we go. I've got food. Do I need golden apples? I guess I do. How many of those do I have? Three. Let's take those with us. I might take these empty maps. Hmm, is this all that we need? I'm pretty sure it is. I just need some sticks to be able to get me some more torches. But apart from that, I'm out of here. I'm not even taking my horse. I'm just going to run the whole thing. The irony is I, I probably should have combined efficiency and unbreaking with my normal diamond axe because... The other one has silk touch, so it's not going to be useful for collecting wood. Actually, what am I talking about? Of course it is. You don't get planks. Let's see how good this is. Okay, yeah, that's way better. 
I'm an idiot. I can get leaves and stuff though with this. Cool, I don't need two of these at all. I can use this to repair it later. So, let's make these before we get into a bad situation. Let's do this and then make... I didn't want that many. Oops. Let's just fire one down. Okay, apparently this is laggy. Where did it go? Okay, it's going this way. So, directly this way. It broke! Oh, what? No, this can't be... This can't be it. They don't break that quickly, do they? I haven't got enough endermen to be able to do this. <laughs> That's harsh. Let's go find this stronghold. I've done too much trading. I've been ripped off by villagers that I gave them a, a good home. I gave them warmth. I gave them shelter. I don't give them food that often. Actually, I don't think I've given them food at all. But my goodness, I have looked after them so much. And they repay me by giving me the worst trades in the world. Oh, uh, you know what? I should have brought those buckets with me. If I get some obsidian, I need to make my nether portal network work, <laughs> if that makes sense. Oh, there's a village over here, isn't there? Somewhere. I'm pretty sure we found one before. I think it's over here, if I remember correctly. Yeah, buddy, there it is. Okay, let's go and sleep there. Then we'll fire off another one of these eyes of ender. The problem is, they obviously seem to be extremely breakable, fragile. So I'm going to run a long way and then see if we can meet in the middle. I mentioned it last time, but if you just run in the direction that the Eye of Ender takes you and then you put it again and then it goes backwards, you know you're in between two places. You're not going to you're not going to use your your Eyes of Ender too much. Right. Who wants to help me out here? We're going to sleep next to this guy. It's going to be it's going to be cozy. It's going to be nice. Should we hold hands? Okay, he doesn't want to hold hands. It's fine. <laughs> Thank you. Whoa. Did you? This guy's an absolute talent. Let's get out of here. I think we need to go... Yeah, this way. Okay, we're just about to head off the map. So if we run a little bit further and then activate the next map, we should be able to get a, a cool little map collection started so we can actually map out our world and get back to things. But eventually, I just want to get me a nether portal network sorted. Should have port the obsidian with me now, but you know what? It's fine. Okay, I think we are due another Eye of Ender. Yep, still going this way. Don't break. Hey, thank you. Appreciate it. So we just need to keep going this way still. Ooh, I think I found a desert temple. Let's go. Pillage this bad boy, shall we? Um, Again, need to be careful with this. Don't want to mess it up. I need the TNT from this as well, because I desperately need to go ahead and make sure that all that stuff underneath my castle is destroyed. Ooh, diamonds. Let's go. I'm not taking any of the other stuff. Golden apple. Don't mind if I do. Don't need saddles anymore. Can I just get rid of this? That seems to work. Not the greatest horse armor. Oh my goodness. Yes. Luck of the C3. What a terrible book. A thing is going to fall on me. I can hear things everywhere. I don't mean any harm. I come in peace. I just want to grab this stuff and get out of here, okay? Please don't fall on me. What do we get? Four diamonds. Actually sick. Loads of this stuff. Uh, I'm going to keep the sandstone. Cool. Good little find. Let's get out of here. I think I can see another village as well right there. Perfect. So let's get to the village because that's a good thing to note is like two different landmarks. So we've got the desert temple and the village. Man, this would have been better with my horse, but I'm worried that I would lose him. <laughs> and I don't want to lose buddy. Sir buddy. He's back home holding the fort down. Yes. Okay. Next village. <laughs> don't mind me. I'm, I'm not interrupting at all. Just checking out your goods. I will take some of this food. Don't mind if I do. Whoa, floating house. Okay, these guys are pretty advanced. Is that another one? That can't be another desert temple, surely. I think it is. There's a village over there. And look at this water. That's amazing. Right, let's pop another one of these down. But... Oh, hold on a second. Yes, it didn't break as well. Oh, it's up there. There it is. Okay, I think we've actually made it to the point of... Going backwards, if this is south. Yeah, okay. We're in between it. Oh, I want to go there, though. Let's grab an empty map and let's activate it so we know where we are. But there you go. It's fully formed as well. I didn't realize that would happen. So we know that there's a desert temple over there. I'm just waiting to... There's another desert temple. Can you see it? How am I between three desert temples? We just came from one. Oh, there's a coral reef here, too. This is a great location, but we're close. We're close to the stronghold. This is great. There's the other desert temple. I think it's pretty close. Let's fire off another one here. Okay, it's back this way. It keeps going backwards and forwards. This is what I was talking about. We know we're near it, like really near it. 
And it hasn't broken again. We must be getting really unlucky with this. This way. Oh, we're so close. It's going to break, isn't it? No. Okay, sweet. This way. I'm using it more now because I'm not quite sure where it's going to be. Hello? Hey! It's still being nice to me. So let's run to the other side of this forest and hopefully we can pick this up. Bop! Yes, it's here. It's here. It's literally right here. Come to me. And this one still hasn't broken on me. It's in this forest somewhere. It must be. This way. It's like in this forest somewhere. That one broke. Okay, that one lasted a very long time. Hey, didn't it? Wait a sec. Yes! When it goes into the ground, that means you're on top of it. Yo, okay, sweet. We're here. Hey, chicken. How's it going? We've actually made it. Look all the stuff that I've got. This is crazy. So now we can just dig down, which is obviously a terrible idea. But I'm going to do it safely. Don't you worry. This is the safe way to dig down. Then we should be met by a stronghold. It's actually not that far away, you know. Okay, I can hear them getting close. Ah! Found it. Okay, sweet. We got it. There's gold here. Okay. This is a big moment. It's going to get a little bit crazy. We need to decide what we want to keep as well. We've got so much stuff on us. It's ridiculous. I spy. Yeah. I think that's the achievement for a stronghold. Follow an eye of Ender. We did it. Right. It's about to get crazy, guys. Let's pop these in our inventory. And let's do this. I'm going to light up as much as I can because I know that these things can be absolutely insane. I might actually get rid of the doors as well. Oh, man. I'm nervous. So if you don't know how strongholds work, you should do. There's in here the portal to the end, which you need to complete with Eyes of Ender. They're absolutely huge. They're mazes. And there's lots of things you can find in here, mainly these libraries and these libraries do have chests in ah there's the chest can you see it let's put a fast one let's go over the top this is perfect piercing three that's a horrible book we've already got a better book than that is there any more any more chests in here i don't think there is but you can find enchanted books in here which is really good Ooh, look at this you can also find like prisons as well i'm pretty sure we're just looking for one little room it's got a silverfish spawner in it. It's a little bit terrifying. But you'll know it when you see it. This I haven't found any mobs yet. What's going on? I could hear them. But where are they? This is super weird. I'm not asking for them. I'm just saying. It's a little bit odd. There are absolutely none here. What's the deal? What are you guys plotting? Unless they're all in the, like one room and I'm gonna I'm about to get jumped. What's going on? Ooh, I forgot that there's chests here as well. Ender pearl. I don't know if I can actually carry that. Let's get rid of the sugar cane, because why not? I can hear zombies, but they're the other way. Is this a... Oh, look, it's one of the prisons. There's creepers in there? Why have you captured a creeper? <laughs> What's that about? Capturing their own kind. That's kind of weird, no? Hey, I ain't complaining. Oh! Oh, we found it already! No way. We've actually found it already. That's crazy. I have never found one that quick before. Oh, skeleton. Watch out. Come on through the door, buddy. You know you want to. I got an arrow with your name on it. Bop. We strafing. Smart little punk. Right, we found it. Okay. So what I want to do with this is... Well, first I need to get rid of this because these guys are horrible. Goodbye. We found it. It's only got two in. So we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We need ten of these to activate it. I kind of want to just like dig up so then I can get straight back here. But I also want obsidian. Um, how can I do this? I mean, so lucky. Ridiculously lucky. I need I need obsidian. You can't take the um you can't take this away because you need that for the end portal to activate. I also feel like I haven't really explored this, but I also kind of don't mind because that was easy mode. Okay, let me think about this for a second. Let me see if I can make some obsidian right now. All I need is a bucket so I can grab this water. So I just need some just need some iron or I could find some. Oh, I got one. Okay. That's not too bad. <laughs> That's actually really lucky. Let's make all these blaze rods into blaze powder. I don't think we're going to need that, but hey, it frees up some space. Look at all these doors. 
just lead to nowhere. This is a really good stronghold to have. Super easy. Not that many mobs. My goodness. This has been so easy. Let me see if I can find another chest with some iron in it. That will be really, really good. Whoa. Okay. Creep up. I found the creeper room. <laughs> Were there two in there? There was. This bow has actually saved my life so many times as well. What were you doing in here, guys? Weird. Okay, where are we on the map? We're still a big dot on the map. And then we've also got this second one, which places us here. What if I do a third one? I don't need this enchanted book. I don't know why I'm keeping that. Let's do a third map and see if we can kind of connect them up. Yeah, that's not too bad. There's a big old load of lava over there. Man, I should have bought the obsidian with me. I should have thought about this because I don't have my flint and steel on me either. And I don't have the coordinates to my base because ideally I would have a portal from here that I just remember which direction to go in and then go and find my home portal, which would be good. How far away from zero zero are we? We're like 2000 blocks away. That's not far to walk in the nether at all. Oh, iron. What was I looking for this for again? <laughs> Needed a bucket, didn't I? Okay, I think I can do this. I think I can do this pretty safely as well. So let's pop this down. Let's grab... I don't want those. I don't want those. I want the cobblestone. Let's make a real quick furnace. Pop this here. I've got coal for days. Let's make a bucket. And then what we're going to do is try and make it so that we can get some obsidian from some of this lava. We can get one, two... We get six pieces from this. We just need ten. Ten pieces. There we go. Buckets. Here it is. This is what I was looking for. I need whatever water this is. But <laughs> got him. Okay, ravines are cool and all. But we also need to be careful of creepers jumping on us. Because that can happen in ravines. But I also just need a little bit more lava. Actually, how deep down does that lava go? Oh, it only goes down one. Man, does this work? If we make it go down more. Ow! Okay, I forgot about those. Be gone. <laughs> There's only one way to find out. There you go. One piece. Two piece. Three piece. No, it doesn't work. Okay, so we're going to get three pieces from this. I'm pretty sure we need all of this lava to activate the portal. So I really don't want to touch that. I'm just going to have to find another pool. Okay, so I'm trying to strip mine to find some some lava. And I came across these diamonds. I haven't got my best pick on me. But this does have Fortune 1 on it. So I got 16. That's not bad. I only had four, I think, before. So that's pretty good. I'm just trying to find these last two bits of... Uh, last four bits of obsidian. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do it. Because I'm at bedrock, but I can't find any lava. No cave system. It's a problem. I hear cows. I just heard a cow. I must be near the surface. I'm going to go to that pile of lava. It's up top. It sounds like it might be nighttime. Yep. It's nighttime. Right, where am I? I have no idea. Oh, village is right here. Okay, I'm going to sleep over here. Grab me the lava and then go back down. Sleepy peepee. -pee. See, this map shows lava. So let's grab that. There it is. Awesome. So satisfying. <laughs> Two more pieces. Let's head back down and then we'll sort out getting home as well. Which shouldn't be too hard. Boom. Done. Aha. Perfect. Right. Let's head straight back down here. Then I just need a piece of flint, which I don't think I bought with me. No, I didn't. But it shouldn't be too hard to find gravel, right? So we should be able to make the portal like here. Do this. There we go. Let's open it out a little bit just so we don't suffocate because that definitely could happen, which would be tragic. Now all I need to do is light it. Come on out. Who wants uh, Who wants to light this? Just need one piece of gravel. That's all I need. Ha ha. Got it. Okay, sweet. Let's just break this. Fortune 1 ain't going to work as well. But this is all I need. There we go. Perfect. Flint and steel. Boom. Okay, right. Let's light this. Pachat. And now we should easily be able to find where we were before. Just because I went to zero zero before. So this should lead us straight home. Or if we head to zero zero, it should... Oh man, I'm nervous. I'm actually really nervous. I don't want to spawn in somewhere really ridiculous. I've got my flint and steel with me just in case. Okay. Okay, okay. Don't... Don't hurt me. 
This lava is scary. Oh no. Come on. Just be nice. Where are we at? Yeah, we're so close. Minus two, seven, four, minus nine, six. We just need to get out of here. Oh my goodness, look at this. Yes. <laughs> Dude, Netherrack is so wimpy. Okay, let's be careful, shall we? Let's make sure we don't die. So our nether portal is down. Okay, it's annoying that it's down there. But if I make like a cobblestone tower, we should be able to see where it is. There we go. If we light the top, will that stay there? Where is zero, zero? I think it's this way. So the plan would be to make it just dead obvious and make a pathway directly to my other nether portal. But I want to make sure that this works. Oh, I found it. I actually found it. This is the one that's near my base show the other one is up here i think like my original one i actually found it yes here it is okay this is this is perfect i've actually found it i've made a nether portal that goes straight to my stronghold and it's not that far away at all if i just head up here and go up here bam i'm home this is great so the original one was like minus 200 and something so if we make something that way we could definitely do this. And look how fast this thing goes as well. So, yeah, look how fast this is. If I'd have used this originally, oh, man, we'd have been... I wouldn't have had to waste four hours digging. This is crazy. Just look at it. It's an absolute beast. And we created that in this episode as well. It's crazy. All right, where do we end up? Not too far away, I don't think. This is perfect. Okay, so for next time, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have this path complete. And we haven't completed the end portal, which is fine. We can do that for another time, because we're not quite ready to face the ender dragon yet. We need better armor, we need better projectiles. This should lead me home. Yeah, the cow pit is here. Let's go, the turtle is still alive. We did some trades today. Oh, we found the stronghold. It's actually not that far away, but having the, like, you can run to it very, very easily. But just having the um, nether portals is just so much easier and way quicker. It saves me a lot of running time. So if we can get it complete, which we will be able to do next time when I've got the coordinates all sorted out, we should be fine. We created these armor stands today. We got some extra buffs on some of our armor. But there we go. We got loads of riches today as well. Do we, do we get a lot of diamonds? Yeah, 16 diamonds. That ain't bad at all. So we're back up to 45 diamonds. We've got four golden apples. I'm actually going to put these in here. Eyes of Ender and Ender Pearls I might put in here as well. Because they are quite uh, expensive. We've got some gold. Got a luck of the seat. Did I really keep that book? Why did I keep this? I don't need it. It's fine. We made a better chop. We got some extra maps as well. Okay. This was a very, very good episode. We're now pretty much ready to take on the Ender Dragon. We just need the best stuff to be able to do it. And I don't know whether to do the Ender Dragon first or whether to do the Wither first. Because the thing with the Ender Dragon is you have the Void which can permanently kill me. I also need to do the feather falling potion. I think it's called potion of slow falling. But today, guys, that's going to be it. I think we've done pretty well. If you enjoyed this, then leave a like. That we greatly appreciate it. Subscribe if you are brand new to the channel for more videos every single day. And to keep up with this series as well. And let me know in the comment section down below what I should do first. Wither or Ender Dragon. I think we're almost ready to do both. But the Ender Dragon is going to take a little bit more time to get ready. So, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye! Wagon, candle, canvas, sofa, fork, rubber band.